So I guess there's a, a brand of content that is me talking to the camera as therapy. Uh, essentially, there there is no outside circuit or trigger or thing that I can do that uh, will relieve my need to talk and need to uh, expel. Um, and I guess this is more physically gratifying than writing. And I guess this is the way, this is the evolution of my emotional churning kind of getting out into a form is video because I, you know, writing wasn't satisfying enough and it's maybe even too mental. Um, you know, I no longer am I willing to be silent, you know, no longer is being silent interesting. Um, I need to bring the full force of my body and my stature and my face and my name. And, you know, even if I don't really believe it, you got to stand behind it. Um, you got to persist, you got to do it. Um, and it's like, well, if I use all the words that I've got, that means I've gotten back to the real world. Um, and you know, the, there is no way but to create a trail of data behind me that really represents what I'm becoming. Um, right. I mean, I've committed to being authentic and being real and knowing that that's the only career for me. It's the only path forward is to be real. And, you know, I I mean, feel, you know, shut up about what you're thinking and what you know, because that's commonplace. That's easy. That's been done. You know, thinking and knowing has been done. So what do you feel? That's the revolution. That's the revolution that needs to come out from me and other people who feel and who are disappointed in life and living and the world and society and finances and power and politics, um, you need to start with feeling. You need to start with the body. You need to come back to safety, belonging, feeling, breath, being home in your body and doing what makes you home. That's what I wanna do with my life is be home. Um, now home is, um, home is the only place that matters. Um, home is, is life. There has never been humanity on earth that was not focused on home. Even, even the homeless are home. Um, with, you know, house, houseless is not homeless. Um, you know, home is where your heart is. Home is, home is breathing. Um, you're not, you're not alone. No, nobody is, anyone on earth is not alone. Um, we are connected. We are, we have awakened. I'm declaring in 2019 that we have awakened from the illusion of separateness. And, um, you know, all, things holding us back are just ideas now. And, you know, I've been saying a lot to my friend David, we've been talking, he's a filmmaker and a producer and is starting a venture capital firm for creators. And one thing I've said to him is, if it's real, it must be made. And, you know, all of these fears that govern life on this planet, and certainly we can talk about America in 2019, um, all the fears that govern us and kind of force us out of living where we live, um, having time to see friends, being able to get in a car and take to the roadway and go see your friends. Um, all the things holding us back are now being reinspected and picked up and looked at and, and we're looking at where we pick it up and we feel it. And it's like, well, how real is this thing? You know, push on this fence holding me back. How, how real is that fence? What, what is that fence? Is it money? Is it that I don't have enough money? You know, what, what happens if you just don't pay your rent? What happens if you just don't pay the bill and let them come to you and let them see you in your broken, poor state? What would happen? 
How bad would it be? What would happen if you don't pay your bill? What are they going to do? Have you ever had zero? Have you ever been below zero? You know, I've never been in debt. Maybe I have things to learn from people who were in debt. Um, you know, yeah, I'm examining my privilege. Sure, I'm aware of it. I'm, I'm not saying, yeah, I'm, I'm not putting myself above anybody at all. Um, and you know, I don't think this can just be written off as therapy. I don't think this can just be written off as going and blabbing your head off, right? I mean, no one can reduce or invalidate what I spent 10 minutes on. And that's the thing for everyone, right? Like no one's 10 minutes are ever invalid, are ever a, a tool to throw around. It just won't work. You know, Wilson Galleon is right. You know, leadership that functions by fear and ruling with an iron fist, you're just not going to find any followers. Um, and if you are, and you are that leader with that army, who's going to love you? Who would want to be your wife? Who would want to love you if you spend your day ruling with an iron fist? Women have opportunities to meet good men. Uh, you, you can't power your way into having a great life anymore. It's over. It's done. The age of power is over. The age of masculine domination is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. And maybe 2019 is the beginning of a great sigh of relief. And, you know, Scott Belsky's ideas about 2019 will be true. Um, artificial intelligence will help us more than we ever imagined. You know, maybe all my paperwork goes away. Uh, health insurance worries go away. Tax worries go away. See, what the, the two constants in life have always been death and taxes. What happens when there's no longer taxes? That's an easier one to solve than death. I'd be curious what Peter Thiel thinks about that. Uh, injecting himself with young people's blood, etc., and all the life extension strategies we we do. Um, life can't be extended. Um, you know, I I like the the Kafka quote: um, "There is hope, just not for us." Um, so I don't know. You know, what what do I do? I mean, again, <laughs> I'm bringing it back to myself and sort of my my career. Uh, and choices. Um, coaching is a verb I'm interested in um, doing for money. Um, having relationships, and by that I mean um, helping people in pain and frustration get ahead and solve a problem. Um, I think I can consult on a lot of things because I think it all comes down to dispelling magical thinking uh, and also reframing um, emotional elements of certain enterprises. So, um, you know, you want to be loved by the workplace and the workplace can't do it. Um, so I don't know, do I coach people on being entrepreneurs? Do I coach them on being intrapreneurs? You know, I, all I can do now is kind of point to people that I've talked to who know about me and my style and I'll call them my services. Um, so yeah, I, to, for me to get ahead, I need to say, here's who's bought from me. Here's who's bought from me. Um, here's what they have to say. And I also need to kind of successfully pattern match for the others, for the customer. The, I need to be able to say, hey, um, I am like this person. I'm like this person. I'm like this person. So yeah, it's it's the... <laughs> the the long road out from uh, being unknown. No, the the long road to being known and taken seriously. And really, I'm I'm too old to uh, not do that. Um, I'm too old to not be known and not be taken seriously. And so I need to drag myself up from being obscure and unknown. I need to drag myself up and out to being known. And um, that's what we're gonna do. So every tweet, every Instagram, every Facebook, every LinkedIn I do is to become known and taken seriously. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.